back to the channel. I am absolutely freezing. Ireland has been minus five, minus two, minus eight. It's just been really cold over here the last week or so. The roads have been absolutely iced over, so I haven't actually been able to go out and make any videos for you up until today. So good news, we're gonna have a video. Second good news is all the time that I've been over here, I've actually been driving in a one series that BMW Island uh, gave to me back in December, December 14th when I came over here. And I'm really impressed, considering it's front wheel drive, it's a 116D, it's not got a lot of poke, I'm being honest, it's not got a lot of poke. They're a glorious little car to drive. If you're looking for something to get yourself to and from the shops, do a little school run here and there, do you know what, even as a first car, they're absolutely bloody brilliant because they're really, really good value for money and the mileage that you get out of these things is mental. I feel like I've done a thousand miles, well, it's kilometers over here, isn't it? So don't ask me to do that. Um, calculation. I got really, really good uh, mileage out of that car. I felt like I've only filled it up maybe twice and I've done nearly 1,500 kilometers in it. Um, so I'm gonna take you guys out today because I'm gonna go over and drive the one series over to go collect the M3 because I'm getting the itch. I'm getting the itch, guys. Um, I've just bought the 911, obviously. I've got the F80 sat at home, getting a little bit meh about the F80. Absolutely loved it love it as a workhorse but it is quite expensive to run and i'm a bit like oh do i need to have another expensive uh fuel consuming car i'm probably gonna regret saying these words as they come out of my mouth no i do love the m3 but i have seen recently that james has put the eventuri kit on his e92 m3 and it's a little bit horny the sound out of it is impressive and i've become really sort of sound orientated with my cars recently especially with the 911 sounding like a little mini muscle car bless it flat six the e92 sounds really good like really good basically it's a day out i'm gonna come driving with me we're gonna have a chat we're gonna have a little lockdown diaries catch up guys All right so let's get on the road so here we have da -da -da, the one series lovely little black on black got some nice little little bits here and there i mean guys we all know what they've done with the grills i think we just all need to get over it it's it's not ideal but i don't i don't hate it you know oh i don't i sorry that's really dirty that side i don't hate it i think they're actually really good solid little cars if you're looking for something that you want to drive about it's comfortable it looks smart it does all just what it says on the tin basically it's got loads of room in it nice big boot in there lovely lovely it's been our little coal machine because obviously everything here we all have natural fires um natural fires does that make sense um yeah i've really enjoyed driving this thing over the last few weeks that i've been here in ireland it's grand little push to start you've got apple carplay you've got everything you could possibly need the only thing that you don't have is the most grunt under your right uh, foot but i think do you know what as i said for somebody who is just mooching about and wants a lovely little car, first car, something like that, something that you're not gonna get yourself into too much trouble with, she's a banger. The one other good thing is as well, and James has driven this to attest this, it's got very good handling. I was impressed with the car. I thought that, do you know what? It's very, very handy to drive. It sticks to the road. It doesn't really, you know, when you've got rear wheel drive cars all the time, you come back to a front wheel drive car, you're like, oh bloody hell, this is what that feels like. Perfect. Honestly, guys, if this is one for your mum, your sister, your girlfriend, your little brother who's just started driving, something like that, really smart little city town car. Loved it. Really enjoyed my time with it. And as I said, I must have done a million miles to the gallon in this thing. Right, let's get off over to the garage. Uh, considering that I've had this car now for, I've been here for what, four weeks? Oh my God, every time I come through this driveway, I think I'm gonna hit the pillars. I've had this car for four weeks now. And no, it doesn't have as much power as the M3. No, it's not as exciting, but there is something to be said for a car that just does what it says on the tin. Again, I always talk about this. I don't know whether I'm getting old or I just want a car that I get in and I drive it and it's not like, okay, I really need to concentrate because this thing co could possibly uh, kill me like the M3 or the 911 or, you know, the E21 where it's like, okay, this car is classic. The brakes are a bit shite in it. You kind of have to be really, really concentrating and you have to kind of prepare yourself mentally for a journey. I'm making it sound worse than it actually is, but do you know what I mean? It's, it's a task. Whereas this thing, I get in it and I drive it and it's solid. 
like all I have to do is just mooch about, click on Apple CarPlay, drive it, bang. I love the driving position. I'm turning into a grandma, lads. I think that is what's happening. I just want to just get in a nice clean car and just drive to from A to B without worrying about fuel consumption finance, how fast it is, I, whether I'm gonna get a ticket, all of it. I'm, that's a realization, isn't it? Jesus. I have been thinking lots about what car, if I was to swap out the M3, I keep looking at X5s. Love the X5 M competition. When I get back to the UK, I'm definitely uh, taking one of those out for a test drive for a week because I just think, how nice is it to just be up high? But then X5 M competition, are you joking? The fuel consumption on that thing would be mehental. Pro wow, yeah, definitely worse than the M3. Don't know. I get confused. I get confused. I've just bought the I've just bought the 911, and I'm already thinking about what I'm going to do with the M3. I should really just keep it and just finish off the things that I said I was going to do um, to it. Everything sort of got messed up with COVID, so I had brakes on the way, I had suspension, like trying to sort that out. But every you know, all these email chains and conversations kind of went higgledy piggledy, and people kind of tightened up a lot of their budgets and stuff, including myself. So I was like, okay, well the car's got wheels on it. Um, it's got the Eventuri kit on it. It's got the CSF um, charge cooler on it. It's ready for a track day. But then obviously the whole world shut down. There's no track day, there's nothing to do. So I kind of just had to park it really. And that's where it's been ever since. It's been a workhorse when I was back at home and I was just sort of flying up and down between uh, London and uh, Saltash with uh, Williams Crawford and everywhere in between. My mum's in Warwick. The car was basically just being used as a van. Is that criminal? It's a little bit, isn't it? But she's still got really low mileage on it, so it's grand, really. I've barely driven the thing. We shall see, my frienders. Right, let's drive up to, look. I'm doing 30. <laughs> Lovely! Right, let's go get the United. See you later. Don't break it. Don't break it. I always, why do you always say that to me? If you're smiling, if you smile when you're floored, it, it sounds so much better. It sounds so good, doesn't it? Woo! Oh, wee. See, this is what I mean. Maybe I should just get rid of the F80 and get one of these. If you put the F80 interior in this car, that's, I'd love, I'm thinking about doing that. Yeah, oh, okay. We could do that. We could do that. We could do that. Right now, I could just get one of these, 
put the Venturi on it and have it as an everyday car that I can just enjoy and drive and it wouldn't be costing me any money because the car would be bought outright, no stress. Is this the way forward? I want a stress-free life, guys. Pandemic's not going anywhere at the minute, so we kind of need to uh, batten down the hatches. And I have just bought a 911, so I don't even know why I just said that. These cars are only ever going up in value as well, I find. People are waking up. More people are waking up. I mean, I only saw Lee Lockwood the other day has bought one of these and there's somebody who really doesn't know anything about cars. That's rude, isn't it? <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know lads. This could be this could be the future for me and the channel being over here. I mean at the moment it's fairly crazy with Brexit. Do you know like Wise Fab, for example, which was uh, a knuckle kit that I wanted to get for my S15. It used to be £1,200 in the UK, and now because of all the Brexit tariffs and red tape and all the rest of it, it's now 1800 This is going to happen a lot with different parts because obviously we're not in the EU anymore. The Republic of Ireland is still in the EU, so I'm getting things delivered to Ireland more, and it feels like things are actually cheaper when I'm living here. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. And plus try and clear my F80 in the Republic of Ireland. Forget about it, it's so expensive. So maybe this is the way things will go. We'll just get a cleared uh, United 2 V8 M3 and have that over here. I don't know, there's lots of different. I mean, I would rather like this on these roads. You would enjoy these roads guys, they are good fun. Nice country country bumpkin roads for miles and miles where you can just enjoy the sound of you and your V8. I mean, what more do you want, really? Yeah, that's it. Excellent. Well, guys, that was me driving it. I just wanted to show you exactly what is making all the noise. As usual, I cannot open, Jimmy, watch out the way, open a bonnet on demand. There we go. So this is the Eventuri Carbon Plenum, which has been, I was about to say where it's from then. Yeah, this is from Eventuri. This is what makes the sound of this car, coupled with the Arc Performance exhaust, is what makes it so delightful, mean. doesn't mean, it? Mean, doggy. It sounds mean. There we are, puppy. But this is the thing that changes all the sound, and that is because it just kind of, it forces the air through much uh, less twirly. Sucking crazy. Yeah. And it's super light. It's brilliant and it looks, honestly, it looks amazing. Yeah. Right. The one on my car is brilliant, but you don't have this huge uh, carbon plenum as you can see here. It's a much bigger kit on the V8 as opposed to the F80. Yeah, and the V8 has NA as well, so you don't have the turbos which quieten down the induction noise. So this is pure raw induction. Sounds very good. And you enjoy it. I'd That's like the main thing really. As I said, it's an impressive bit of kit and this is the top upgrade i would say if you have an e92 v8 out there this would be the one thing to get a serious exhaust one of these and you've got fairly i would do this before the exhaust even it's all in the intake noise it's unreal cheap um, the bells what for a think? car you know they're really affordable and they're so much fun i think they're absolutely brilliant i love this thing it's you gives it tons of abuse and makes lots of noise and puts lots of smiles on my face <laughs> Jimmy! Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Hey, boy! Look how big he's got. It's ridiculous. He is big. Right, guys, so let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you think I should swap out the F80 and get an E92 naturally aspirated. Aspirated? Love that. Naturally aspirated uh, V8 E92. Other than that, I'm going to be leaving Ireland like very, very soon. So I'm going to do a little wrap up video and just sort of see what I've got to sort out because I have a car here. I have lots of things to sort out. I've got hair in my mouth. But other than that, take care of yourselves, guys. Make sure you stay safe, and I will see you next week. Bye.